Hey everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing one of these paper theater craft kits that my brother got for me when he traveled to Japan last year. I've been saving them for a video and I can't wait to try them out for the first time. If you're unfamiliar with these paper theater kits, you basically cut out and glue together different pieces of cardstock to create a beautiful miniature world that is perfect for putting on display. Also, they're just adorable, right? <laughs> For today's video, I'm going to do the Panda Rilakkuma themed one. On the back of the kit, you can see the difficulty out of 5 diamonds. This one's a 3, so wish me good luck. For this kit, you'll need glue, so I'm using Mod Podge. And to separate all the paper pieces, you need a craft knife. Oh, and tweezers will also help you with the smaller pieces. But before we open up the kit and see what's inside, I'd like to take this time to thank today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. I've worked with Ana Luisa before and have been a happy customer of theirs for almost a year now. If you've seen my recent craft area tour, you know I wear my pieces almost every single day and I am in love with the quality, especially for the price. Ana Luisa sells fairly priced pieces starting at $39, which means you get high quality jewelry without the high markups that other retailers have. They kindly sent me three new pieces that, like all their jewelry, were ethically made with sustainability in mind. The Carry Reversible Astral Coin Necklace is the first necklace I've owned from Ana Luisa, and of course by its name you can tell it's reversible, which I love. The gold side is so simple with a beautiful imprinted design, and the black side is bold enough to be admired from a distance. My first earrings I ever bought from Ana Luisa were the medium gold hoops, so I decided it was time to get a bolder, bigger set of gold earrings, and the Cuidado earrings were the perfect choice. I love how you can see them even with my long black hair, and they go perfectly with my smaller huggy hoops. Lastly, I added the rope slim gold twist ring, and I am so like no lie in love with this thing it complements my smaller olivia gold ring so well and i love switching back and forth from wearing one ring on each hand or two on one hand for a bolder look my favorite thing about Ana Luisa is their mission of sustainability and the fact that they are 100% carbon neutral. And you can feel good knowing you won't spend money on cheaply made jewelry that you're just gonna throw away in a couple of weeks because it tarnished or turned your fingers green. That is a waste of money and a waste of resources. Right now, Ana Luisa is having an exclusive Black Friday sale with limited offers that can be accessed by clicking the link in the description box down below. I cannot recommend this brand enough, especially for the holidays since they are affordable and you can have peace of mind knowing that you're gifting something of high quality to those that you love, all while supporting a business that is doing good for planet Earth. Thank you again, Ana Luisa, for this opportunity and supporting my channel. And now, let's get started on this paper theater kit. I'm really glad that they included instructions in both Japanese and English. All right, let's just, uh, let's do the first step, which is separate each part with utility knife. So here are all of our parts. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So each part has the cutout and they're semi-attached so we're going to punch them out with a knife and then they also have a number and either back or front in each of the corners or bottoms so here you can see this is Rilakkuma's face and it says number two front and here is Kyaritori and it says two and front the material is a nice cardstock it's very thick you could even say it kind of feels like super thin wood, but 
These are what I would assume to be like the stands that keep the layers separated. These are like little, the baby pandas. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so precious. This is so cute. This is so cute. The back layer. Oh my gosh, I am nervous. I don't know if I am ready for this. I'm going to separate all the pieces by group number and I'm going to just use an empty page in my sketchbook as almost like a cutting mat. So get started here. <laughs> Here is group number one. I'm gonna keep cutting them out and keeping them in their numbered groups. So this is group number two. It's like the outline of Kiritori's beak, I think. <laughs> it's so cute. So tiny. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Little panda, so cute. So cute. <laughs> how small this is this is the smallest little bow ever it's the back of the bow oh my gosh it just fell behind my desk okay this seriously like it launched out over there it fell behind my desk thankfully it's right there if i can reach it it's so dusty back here Found it. Ew. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have our number sixes. There they are. Okay, here we go. All right, so now basically you see that each section is grouped by the numbers. And these diagrams basically just show you how to glue each piece onto each other. So I'm just gonna go through and follow the instructions. I'm going to use a silicone tool and just dip it into my Mod Podge and apply the glue that way. I won't regret this. <laughs> I think I might actually. Yeah, I might regret this. This might be too messy. Like that's like. <laughs> that's not the most satisfying thing in the world. I understand. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that extra glue there. <gasps> I totally. This is the very front piece, and I messed it up royally by putting way too much glue <laughs> on that ear.
Too much glue. <gasps> Too much glue. Oh, I did it backwards. No. This one's so hard. <laughs> Sit down, Lily. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that's better. basically going to join these all together using the little join panels here. We have to add glue right into the little join areas here to secure everything. This is so cute. Then this one. One. Nice. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is so cute. stuck okay two ears how precious <laughs> all right and then the very last one I'm getting excited there we go there we go <gasps> yay okay so I put glue on the notches and then we're going to slide these in I guess Oh, that was very easy. Okay. That was super easy. Here. Easy peasy. And for the final reveal. How stinking cute. All right, now that feels... Wow, I'm so excited. Very... Oh my gosh, so cute. Here is the final paper theater all dried and finished. I love how it turned out. I think it's so cute. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below which kit you want me to do next. I, I just had so much fun with this. Also, don't forget to check out the description box to visit Ana Luisa and see the huge Black Friday sale that they're having. I'm really excited about that too. And again, thank you Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. All right, so that's it. Um, 
I really hope to talk to you all soon and yeah, bye.